It's Wednesday, December 17th, 2014. I'm Chris Harris. This is DX Daily. Up first, 50 Cent has just signed another mega deal. The G-Unit frontman reportedly landed a $78 million deal with Frigo Revolution Wear, an underwear company created to revolutionize the underwear industry. 50 revealed the news via Instagram this week and the caption that read, I just did a deal for $78 million for underwear. What did you motherfuckers do today? LOL, hashtag boom, hashtag Frigo. Fifth's Revolution Wear underwear are now at Neiman Marcus for $100. Are you buying? Let us know in the comment section below. Next up, Hobson has retired from rap. That's right, the LA rapper has packed his bags for Australia. In an Instagram post uploaded today, the West Coast wordsmith thanked his fans for their support and announced that this rap stuff isn't for him. Unfortunately, tonight is the night that I'm actually moving away to Australia. Over the past couple years, I have come to the conclusion that this profession just isn't for me. So I'm going to venture out into new areas of life. I will always be an MC at heart, but this rap stuff just isn't for me. I hope you guys can respect it. I've signed over my half of the Funk Volume label to my business partner, Dane. I also wish Swizz, Dizzy Wright, and Jaron Benton good luck in their careers. Thank you all. I'm out. Is he serious? DX will keep you updated with further developments. DX recently called up with Long Beach MC King Crooked, who reflected on the Cassidy and Disaster battle and Shady Aftermath taking on Good Music or TDE in the full-on label battle. Roll the clip, I That's the thing with me with this battle shit is like, I, I'm enjoying battling, you know, in, a, in battling corporations for, for, for uh, um, you know, market positions and trying to, trying to cause the market with certain things and trying to bring, you know, deals to the table that they said I could never get, you know what I mean? And trying to, like, with the mm -hmm. one shot, creating TV shows and you know I'm out here fighting that battle so I don't really be looking at rappers like somebody that I just want to tear into you know what I mean but I hear with the cat with the Cassidy thing you know I think they raised the bar you know because that was a that was a nice purse he got you know what I'm saying they gave mm -hmm. they gave him a nice check you know and I think that raises the bar to where it now starts to enter in everybody's mind like well hold up you know, if they giving out 250 you know, the next one might be a half. You know what right. I'm saying? So it's like, that's when it's saying, well, hold on, well, hold on now, you know. Somebody give me a half, I probably will jump in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, that ain't a bad payday for one night. You know what I mean? But uh, other than that, I don't even be on that level. But, I mean, you know, it's going to be, uh, if, if we was to battle a label date, first, first people would want to see either TDE or, or good music, something like that. You know what I mean? Shady TDE, shady good music. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think those would come to mind first. Am I wrong or who, who would you think? Should the Shady Aftermath crew battle TDE or good music first? Let us know what you think in the comment section. Those are the day's most interesting headlines. As always, for more music and news, hit up hiphopdx.com.